Alrighty, perfectionism. Let's get back to that one. So far, I've only done one video on it, and it's actually a very important topic. And in particular, as you re-engage with the world, if you have these perfectionistic tendencies, which you probably do, you are going to have to relearn how to re-engage with the world because you still have all your old patterns. This is what's happening with me, you know. I'm doing more and more stuff and I'm these old habits of being perfectionistic, perfectionistic about everything are reasserting themselves. And as I go through my recovery, I have to relearn, unlearn the old habit and learn a new habit, learn a new way of engaging with the world that's not so perfectionistic. Okay, so before, depending on where you're at, my world was very, very limited, as you may know. I was bedbound, and so I did very little, you know. So I still managed to be perfectionistic, of course, but it was in just the limited domain of my very limited life. But now as my life is expanding, and every step of the way as, it, as it's been expanding, you know, every little thing, uh, if I have to buy toothpaste, I gotta spend three hours picking the right toothpaste, you know? It's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And this is what I naturally tend to do, right? And uh, what I've gotta do is remind myself, hey, look how much, how much you're torturing yourself. Look, what, look at what you're doing to yourself. Look at how you're treating yourself, you know? And this is not a good way to, to go, you know? This is the part of the reason why this came about in the first place is you know because you have this anxiety you got to make the right decision what if you get the wrong toothpaste oh my god it's the end of the world wrong toothpaste you know and it could be a small decision a ridiculous decision like toothpaste or it could be a big decision you know where do i want to work you know or stuff like that you know but uh, these big decisions they're rare but these small decisions they're everywhere uh, you know which route do i want to take you know uh, where do I want to hang out here today or do I want to go here today? And it's like constant everyday life stuff uh, that just causes these old patterns of behavior, of thinking, of acting to come back. And you've got to be cognizant of that. And you've got to make sure to slowly, gently direct yourself away from those ways of engaging with the world towards more soothing, more normal ways of being. You know, just step by step. Now, this is not easy. This is not easy. I believe I'll always be a perfectionist to some degree. You know, I don't believe I'll just completely turn around who I am. But what I can do is I can look at the very extreme at the very extremes of, 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 of this personality trait where it doesn't serve me and I can't tone it down. And I can tone it down a lot, you know? I'm not gonna completely change it, but I can tone it down a lot. And you might have to do something like that as well, you know? But then also this can be a strength in very specific circumstances, you know? There are, you know, like for example, if you're performing neurosurgery, you know, I want my neurosurgeon God forbid if I don't need one, you know, but if I had to have a, a neurosurgery, I'd want him to be perfectionistic or her. I'd want him to get every little detail absolutely right. And I want him, I, I'd want him to be anxious that, you know, that they got, that they made a little, even the little tiniest mistake. In that context, it makes sense. But if we carry it to 100% of our life, then it's just, it's a constant anxiety generator. And it's a big reason for our symptoms. So I hope this is making sense to you. I hope you can relate to this. And uh, let me know, you know, if this is an issue for you, what you do to deal with it. How do you re-engage with the world more in a more soothing, in a more normal, in a more, in a more kind way, you know? This is, this is being kind to yourself. This is saying, hey, if you choose the wrong toothpaste, it's not, it's not, it's not a big deal at all. And even if you make a big mistake, okay, you're human, you make mistakes. So, 
let me know you know if is this an issue for you how how's it going for you with respect to this what techniques are you using to make this change within yourself you know what i do is just constantly stay aware uh, that oh you know every time I, I notice you know oh look I'm doing it I'm, it's it's happening you know and sometimes you can't do anything about it you just have to say okay I notice that it's happening and that's a step in the right direction as well you know you continue to do it but you observe yourself doing it each time you do it you're actually making progress even if you continue to do it and you don't change the actual behavior right there on the spot it makes it to change it makes it easier to change it the next time and the next time and the next time so that's what I do I observe myself doing it then if I can I make a little effort to okay maybe I'll cut it short here maybe I'll just pick the toothpaste that's in my hand right now and I'll go with that you know or you know you get what I'm saying right just make a decision stick with it and when you do that you're gonna experience anxiety that's what happens to me once I made the decision, oh my God, there's this anxiety and this second guessing yourself and quadruple guessing yourself, you know, and quintuple dressing yourself, guessing yourself and uh, it's just, and I just sit with it and I let myself experience it and I remind myself that, hey man, it's not a big deal at all. This is coming from your past and, you know, what happened, whatever, whatever re you know, the reasons are that you developed this very critical this fear of making a mistake this perfectionism that's not really valid and uh, I'm just reminding you of that one more time gently and calmly and kindly and so and that's so this is the process you notice that you're doing it if you can you make an effort to make a slight change you know to just make the decision and stick with it and to soothe yourself if you can't, you just go with it. You just continue to observe yourself, but you stay kind to yourself. You notice how much, how much suffering it's causing you to be like that. And as you notice that more and more frequently, uh, it becomes easier. You know, it's a slow process. It's a very slow process. I wish it was faster, but you know, the important thing is that I'm aware of it. I'm finally addressing it. I'm getting better, and you're getting better. We're all getting better. Like this video so people can see it. Subscribe to my channel. Watch my other videos. If this is your first video you're watching, watch my other videos. You know, I think there's a lot of good stuff there that can help you. You know, if you got CFS, fibromyalgia, that type of thing, you got pain, you got fatigue, you got brain fog, you got a million other symptoms. I think my videos will help you. Until next time.